Please have a seat. Uh, what a tremendous pleasure it is to welcome Prime Minister Maloney to, uh, to Canada. Uh, Georgia, we just uh, saw each other a week ago in Ukraine where you uh, not only demonstrated Italy and, uh, and the G7's commitment to supporting Ukraine, uh, you hosted the, uh, a G7 uh, video conference and, and, uh, and uh, in-person conference for us. Uh, that was really, really important. Uh, your leadership uh, in the G7 is going to be really important this year. There are so many big issues, and you have really uh, demonstrated, not just this year, but uh, over the last year as well, uh, a tremendous uh, ability to pull together with ambition the kinds of work that we need to do, and I'm really, really looking forward to uh, to working with you on that and, and hopefully setting up Canada's uh, G7 year, following year, uh, with the kind of uh, momentum and continuity that I know we all, we all need. Uh, Canada and Italy are so aligned on so many things. We have uh, a very deep and growing economic relationship as well. Uh, but whether we're talking about uh, AI, whether we're talking about manufacturing, whether we're talking about the challenges of, of migration and labor shortages and everything that goes in together, uh, there's a lot of really great work uh, to do together and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I especially appreciate the way you always have a focus on concrete outcomes and yeah. deliverables. It's not just talking about important yeah. things, it's making sure they deliver and I think that's quite frankly what the world accepts uh, expects from, from Italy, from the G7, uh, and from all of us as we deal with really big issues. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this meeting and looking forward to all the work we do, all the, we do this year. Uh, C'est un grand plaisir d'accueillir la première ministre Meloni ici à, à, à Toronto. Uh, on a travaillé ensemble la semaine passée en Ukraine sur uh, les grands enjeux mondiaux. Uh, elle a uh, accueilli les leaders uh, du G7 en vidéoconférence uh, pour parler uh, des enjeux auxquels on fait face. Uh, on va travailler sur, uh, sur le G7, sur les, les façons de livrer concrètement uh, ce qui Ce, le monde, ce, que, ce dont le monde attend de nous. On a aussi, aussi de, de grosses conversations sur euh, les défis économiques auxquels on fait face en tant que euh, démocratie moderne et euh, le travail qu'on peut faire pour livrer concrètement pour nos citoyens. Euh, C'est un énorme plaisir de t'avoir ici. Thank you. Thank you very much, Justin. Thank you very much and thank you for this warm welcome. Uh, in this tour that I'm doing in the G7 countries to share uh, the main topics I would like to bring to the to the G7 leader summit that we will have in Puglia on June. Yeah, I will be very happy to have you there, uh, where you can taste also a bit of the Italian traditions and so on. Uh, but I think you're right when you say that there are many things that we are sharing and that we will have to share. And I'm happy of that, for you will be the next president of the G7, so it is important that we do a work that ca can go on through the years. So there, there are many results of the Japanese presidency that I will be, bring through the Italian one, as for example, artificial intelligence and the role of Indo-Pacific, but also the respect of international uh, rule-based order, so the support to Ukraine uh, in this very difficult Middle East crisis, on which also we have to talk a lot, uh, avoiding an escalation of the conflict. I've been discussing about that uh, yesterday with Joe Biden too. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, for example, I was saying artificial intelligence. I know it is a topic that we share for, it is, a, well, a tool, but as anyone, it can be bad or good, it depends on how we govern it. So I'm uh, concerned, moreover, on the impact of artificial intelligence if we don't govern it in the right way to have on the labor market, for example. So I think it is a global issue that we have to discuss uh, together. And uh, I know that we are on the same path on many of this, of this problem that we have to discuss in this very uh, difficult uh, era in which we are govern our countries. And then on the bilateral level, I'm very happy of the work we are doing today, for we are beginning a new era of our relationship, trying to enhance uh, our cooperation. And I think there are many, many topics on which we can do that. Also for, as you know, we have this very big community here of Italian Canadians. So next time, 
I, I, in an international uh, meeting, I expect you to talk also a bit in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so we had an, another language, and I can help you on that if you want. Grazie. <laughs> Prego. But in any case, uh, in any case, uh, research, uh, infrastructures, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, um, sustainable environmental transition. There are many, many things of which I think uh, the, the, uh, well, the Italian capacity can be put uh, also uh, on the table to help uh, developing both, uh, and, and I hope that also on investments we can discuss a lot. So there is a big, big, big work to do uh, on the G7 presidency and about our enhanced cooperation. My task is that we are concrete. So we need to work on concrete results. It is better to have less, but they have to be concrete. So they have to change things. And that is something on which I know I can very well work with you. So thank you for hosting us. And thank you for the work that we will do together. Thank you, thank you very much.